Hello everyone. So today is uh, March 13th, 2024, and we'll get right into it. For the National Days, we have Dermatologist Day. So if you are a dermatologist, today is your day. We are recognizing you, the dermatologists out there. We're also recognizing... Um, Registered dietitians and reg uh, and nutritionists. So if you're any of those, uh, today is your day. Uh, we recognize you all. Thank you for whatever you do. I do not have a dietitian or a nutritionist. Probably should, but I don't have enough money to do all that. Dermatologist. I've been into a dermatologist a few times. Um, uh, whether regarding my face or a couple of questionable moles. But I've been into a dermatologist a few times, and I definitely appreciate everything that they do. Um, so there is that. Uh, National Jewel Day. I don't have any jewels. I know this the the singer Jewel. She's she's a really awesome singer. We can make it a, a National Day for her, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but anyway. Don't have any jewels, so I can't check that one off. But I can check the the other two off because I I recognize them. So there there's that. Um, got that done. I did a good job too. <laughs> At least I think I did. Uh, oh, and I'm also recognizing uh, Canine Vet Day. So for all those canine vets out there, today is your day also. But those dogs just happen to be watching. Um. And National Earmuff Day. So if you got your earmuffs, I guess today's a good day to to uh, wear those and pretend uh, pretend like you are listening to people when you're really not. Or maybe you need them outside wherever you live. Uh, it's nice here outside of the rain that's about to come down again. But outside of that, I mean, it's supposed to be a, a fairly nice day today. It's probably not going to need earmuffs here. Oh, and then National Open Your Umbrella Indoors. I mean, I've been told that this is actually really bad luck, but what the hell? We have umbrella inside. There you go. So, National Umbrella Inside. My cat is giving me a look right now. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? National Umbrella, umbrella Inside Day. So, here we go. Uh, moving on. Now that I got that done, I can off of that. Uh, we have birthdays. Rapper Jack uh, Harbo. Actress Kaya Skidalaro. Uh, Sk Something like that. I'm sorry if I butchered it, which I know I did. NBA uh, player Tristan Thompson. Actor Noel Fisher. Um, children author Rachel Renee Russell. Actor William H. Macy. I uh, might remember him from uh, um, uh, Wild Hogs. Uh, actress Leah A uh, Aline Baker. Uh, rapper Common. Uh, I like him. Common, I mean. Rapper Common. <laughs> but I like him. He's a really good rapper. Um, I like a lot of his his work. Uh, Nonfiction author Linz, Lizzie Velasquez. Um, tennis athlete Coco Golf. Uh, actor George McKay. Actress Annabeth uh, Gish. Uh, fashion designer Kathy Hilton, singer Connor Price, uh, lead singer from Disturbed David Draymond. Uh, I really need to go to a Disturbed concert. I really like Disturbed. They're a really good band. Uh, rapper AJ Jacobs, rapper Clean John, model Piper America Smith. Actress uh, Adina Porter, singer Remy Aldi, uh, journalist Peaches 
Geldof, uh, actor Emily, or yeah, Emily uh, Hirsch, rapper uh, Kamaya, singer Scat and John, actor Harry Melling, and wrestler Matt Jackson. So if it is your birthday, happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a good birthday. Maybe you have opened your umbrella in the doors just like I have. We're getting ready for that rain. That's not really going to happen indoors, but we're still getting ready for it. Maybe it'll protect me from the from the storm tonight. <laughs> um, that we're getting. Uh, actually, we were in the midst of watching Survivor tonight, and then it got interrupted. I was just waiting. We were right at Tribal Council, and we well, getting ready for Tribal Council. I think they're just getting ready to walk towards it or something like that, uh, at least find out who is going to get voted off. And then they interrupted it and said, oh, we've got a, a thunderstorm warning here in our area. And hey, possible hail and all of this. I'm like, no. It's almost over. You couldn't wait till it was over. But apparently not. Oh, well. Thank God for Paramount Plus. I can still watch it tomorrow. Even though I still want to know what happened. It's driving me crazy. But it's okay. Uh... Unfortunately, there were some deaths today. Uh, William Hurt is the one I have listed. If you have lost a family member or a relative or a uh, colleague, any of the above, um, or et cetera for that matter, um, something that I haven't mentioned. Maybe uh, someone that you knew from church or something like that. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. My thoughts, condolences, prayers go out to you. Um, as always, I know those times can be difficult, and I don't wish that time on anybody. And I don't care what anybody else says, you, there is no timeline on getting over it. So, whether it happened a day ago, uh, this day in history, today, uh, um, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, it doesn't matter. I understand it still hurts. So... That doesn't all that uh, that hurt or that void may never go away. I you know so there's that. Um, well, on this day in history, uh, the Searchers by uh, with John Wayne and Natalie Wood is released. Uh, 1975, the comedy. Uh, same time next year, uh, with Ellen Burstyn and Charles Grodin. Uh, opens in New York City and has 1,453 performances. In 1982, the ABC crime drama T.J. Hooker um, with uh, William Shatner uh, starts today, so it premieres. In 1986, on this day, the 12th People's Choice Awards takes place. Uh, one of my girlfriend Angela's favorite actors, Sylvester Stallone, and Merle Streep, Bill Cosby, and Linda Evans are the big winners. In 1988, the 14th People's Choice Awards takes place. Michael Douglas, Glenn Close, Bill Cosby, and... Uh, Sybil, uh, Sybil Shepherd are the big winners. In 1997, excuse me, there is something a little bit more on the paranormal side. Uh, Phoenix Lights are singing at night over, excuse me, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, by a hundred of, uh, by hundreds of people, uh, that were around that area and millions of people watching on their television set so quite a phenomenon in 2005 bob eagler is named ceo of walt disney international in 2015 captain america the winter soldier 
starring Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson, uh, my second girlfriend, <laughs> premieres on in Las Ve Los Angeles. Um, let's see here. In 2022, the 75th uh, BAFTA Awards takes place. The the power of the dog, uh, Joanna uh, Sconlin, uh, Will Smith, and Jane Campion Campion are the big winners. Uh, moving on, movie birthdays for today. So we get into the movie birthdays. Star Girl comes out on this day in twenty twenty. To the Beat comes out on this day in twenty eighteen. My Cousin Vinny comes out on this day in 1992. I Still Believe, which is a really good movie if you haven't seen it. Um, I saw that one with uh, Angela. Uh, came out on this day in 2020. Um, yeah, we saw it when it came out in theaters. Uh, Fitting In came out on this day in 2023. The Hunt came out on this day in 2020. Uh, Race to Witch Mountain, which I still haven't seen and I need to, came out on this day in 20, uh, 2009. The Final Girls came out on this day in 2015. Home Sweet Hell came out on this day in 2015. The Gobbler, uh, The Cobbler, I'm sorry, The Cobbler came out on this day in 2015. Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight came out on this day in 2020. Kind of reminds me of that one uh, song. If you go out on the woods today, this should be a surprise. Anyway, uh, the the postcard killings came out on this day in 2020. Uh, Miss March came out on this day in 2009. Evil Dead 2, which is another movie I really need to see, uh, came out on this day in 1987. Bronson came out on this day in 2009. The Howling came out on this day in 1981. The Searchers came out on this day in 1956. The Pleasure Drivers came out on this day in 2007. And Pain and Glory came out on this day in 2019. All right. And then, last but not least, before I move to my question of the day, which I will close with, we have Song Birthdays. Mean by Taylor Swift. Man, she's busy. She had two songs, uh, two song birthdays yesterday. Now a song birthday today. But uh, Mean by Taylor Swift came out on this day in 2011. Uh, Lucid Dreams came out on this day in, oh, in 2018 by uh, Juice World. Um, Toby Chip by Toby Smiles came out on this day in 2023. Uh, in Your Dreams by Indiana Marsera came out on this day in 2018. And that is all the songs I have for you all for today. I thought there was more there for a second, but no, that's it. So now we move on to my question of the day. Here we go. And these questions are, can be quite personal, I found out. This one's not quite so bad. Uh, if you died right now, what would you regret not having done? Well, I've got a few things, actually, because I don't want to die today, or tonight for that matter. Um, let's see. First off, I regret... I regret not knowing who got voted off on Survivor tonight because the damn show... Got interrupted by a uh, thunderstorm watch because Channel Five decided to show the thunderstorm watch instead. Or warning, I'm sorry. Um, which I understand it was in their viewing area, but still, it wasn't life threatening yet. It's a thunderstorm warning. <gasps> Serious, but not unless you're out there in it. It's really not life threatening at the moment, but we make it that way. <sighs> Never mind, don't let me get into that. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, but hey, it is what it is. I still want to watch Survivor. 
I mean, I understand. I, I truth be told, I understand what what they why they did what they did. But still, I want to watch Survivor. I want to know who got blurted out. It's driving me nuts. Um, that and then uh, not being able to watch WrestleMania because I want to see WrestleMania. Uh, let's see. I I also want to see the new uh, Ghostbusters. That would be another regret. Um. Uh, I have a story, uh, a story that I'm currently writing, so I want to get it published before I die. So that's another thing. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, the new Deadpool movie. I want to see that one too before I die. And there's a lot of. Uh, I want to uh, part of my bucket list. I want to uh, see all the baseball stadiums and all the the NFL stadiums before I die so that's on my bucket list when I retire someday hopefully maybe you know um yeah um but yeah those that's uh that that stuff is among my list I got a few other things but that's that's basically my list of if I died now what would I regret not having done that would be a lot of it right there as far as saying I love you to people, I do that on a daily basis, so I don't feel like I'm, I'm losing ground there. But, yeah. That would suck. But that is all I have for you guys for today. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, um, yeah, if this thing is bad luck, I guess I'm in for it for tomorrow, but all well. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, if you, uh, I'm on yesterday's thing. But yeah, if you're a dietitian or uh, or a nutritionist or a dermatologist or a canine vet or I think that's it. Today is your day, so I hope you had a good day. Did I mention Coconut Torque Day? I don't know if I did or not. If I didn't, it's also co Coconut Torque Day, but I, I don't like coconut, so there's that. And it's also Good Samaritan Day, so just be sure to go out. If you didn't do it today, do it tomorrow. Make sure you do something for somebody, damn it. I do that every day, though. I always try to go out of my way to try to help people. I don't give a shit what day it is. I always feel like that's something that you should do. But, yeah. Oh, and then if you want to take a look, closer look at my umbrella, there's that before I leave. So, um, yeah. Vincent Van Gogh umbrella. I got that at an art, um, uh, an art, uh, building in Kansas City. So, um, yeah. There's that. I believe that's all I got for y'all. Oh, and then National Jewel Day. So if you got some jewels, hey, show them off. If you didn't get a chance to do that today, because I understand this is getting, this is a late video. Who cares? Show them off tomorrow. Just say you're a day late. Day late, dollar short. Oh, well. So, I mean, there's that. This isn't too bad, putting this indoors, I have to admit. It's kind of fun, actually. Now I can see why you do it at least once a year. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. What are you doing? Oh, I got my umbrella up indoors. Oh, okay. I can see where this might be bad luck if you're kind of like swishing, or you're like walking with this thing, and you're not actually bump into something. That might be bad luck. I don't know. Anyway, I'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Peace out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.